And this sign means no stopping allowed. That's right, or else your car will get towed away. Where are the others? We were expecting everyone. They'll be here soon. It's not like them to forget. SOS! Huh? Something terrible's happened. Please help me! Jerry, what's going on? Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath! Huh? Jerry, tell us what happened. And by the way, where is Joe? That's what I've been trying to get out! Uh, she was kidnapped! She went into the city and they took her! They took her away! I think I know what happened. She didn't know about the sign, and so they had to tow her away. Don't you worry, every problem has a solution. Jerry, lead the way. Go, go, Turbosaur! <laughs> Chuck, a robot like him is sure to attract attention. Chuck's nothing to worry about. In the city, people are so busy that no one will notice him. You ready? Then let's go find our Joe. Now, where could she be? This situation calls for some eyes up in the sky. Jerry? I'm on the case! Oh, there you are. Welcome to your rescue. Jerry, they took me away. What are we going to do? Don't panic, Joe. Superhero is my middle name. Have no fear, we're going to get you out of here. The coast is clear. Time to let Chuck out. Ooh, little crabs in here. <laughs> I found Joe. Shh, she's up on the second floor. Well, shucks, I can just break down the whole wall. Joe can escape through the hole, and then I can close it back up again, and no one will ever know. How will she get down from way up there? There aren't any stairs. It's impossible. Ugh. Nothing could be simpler. I think I've got it. We just have to build a slide that comes down from the second floor. Here, take a look. You're a genius. Chuck, go ahead and break the wall and that part of the roof. Unky, go wait inside so you don't get in the way. Thor, Wolf, go gather some dirt so when he's done, we can make a smooth slide for Joe. And what should I do? Watch and make sure no one sees us. Somebody's coming! <sighs> Again with the construction. Digging, digging. Will it never end? <clears throat> Is he gone? Oh, I can breathe. Faster? To the left? You got it! Okay, team. We need to restore the whole building and also flatten the slide. Go home. I 
just don't know what I would ever do without such friends. That's what friends are for, to help you out when you get in a jam. But next time, make sure that you follow this sign. What does it mean? Ay ay ay. I will now teach you the rules. Lucky those rules don't apply to me. But today's the last day it's showing. Let's go, sis. Come on, I know you want to see this movie. Sorry, Peter, we can't. There's no way we can go. Oh man, why not? Huh? huh? <laughs> We can't leave Florian alone. <sighs> Why, there you are. <laughs> we were wondering where you two were. We we're just waiting and waiting. Our grandma had to go into town, so we have to watch Florian ourselves. We have to stay here. We can't do anything fun. Hmm. Don't mind Mr. Grumpy Pants. He wanted to see a movie, so now he's gonna sulk about it. What if you got someone else to watch him? Who? Oh. Well, I'm great with kids, and this tiny human seems comfortable with me. You really think you can watch him for a couple of hours, Joe? Thanks! That's awesome! No! No, tiny human! <laughs> Florian! Uh. Oh. Uh. What now? Oh. Kids, are you hiding in my garden? I have your ball. Here you go. <gasps> Florian? Huh? Oh. Oh. What are you doing? You could get spotted. I lost sight of the tiny human. Now he's gone. What? Nobody panic yet. Joe, let's go alert the rest of the Turbozords. <laughs> Florian couldn't have gotten very far. Huh? Huh. Huh. He's not back there either. He couldn't have gotten into the house, could he? We searched every room in the house, too. We can only hope he doesn't go too far. into the back of Aunt Nora's car. Huh? <gasps> Hang on! We gotta follow them! We should figure out where Aunt Nora's headed. You're right. I think we gotta split up. Chuck, you're great, but you don't have speed on your side. I think you should stay in the forest. You guys get to have all the fun without me. Maybe you should stay here, too. Someone needs to be here in case Grandma comes back before we do. <laughs> go, go, Turbo Zors! Why'd you stop, Thor? There's a roadblock here. We need to find another way. Uh -huh. Donkey, that car! It's the one we need! They'll be so happy. 
one card delivery complete with tiny human inside. Guess what, you guys? We found the car that has Florian inside. Oh. We should probably put that back in its parking spot and see if you can fix the flat tire, too. Yes, that's right. I need a new tire. <gasps> Or maybe a whole new car? Hello? You must help! My car has been stolen! Oh! I guess it hasn't been stolen. And my flat tire's been repaired. What a strange day! All right, I'll be back in three days. Now, while I'm gone, it's important that you're all good for Aunt Nora, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Oh, there's my bus. I've got to go now so I can catch the train. Someone forgot their suitcase. Huh? That suitcase belongs to Grandma. She got on the bus without it. Yes, a sticky situation. Don't you worry about it. I'll get the other Turbozors and we'll think of something. And then Grandma forgot her bag, along with everything in it. Oh, me too. Even though I was hungry, I somehow managed to forget breakfast and... Thor is a perfectly lovely story, but we just don't have the time. According to this map, we can catch the train at the next stop and bring your grandma her suitcase. The only problem is that stop is all the way on the other side of the river. I know what we can do. Turbozors to the river. Here, we will build a ramp and jump right over the river. Thor, you start digging a hole. Unky, you start looking for the materials. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, go, Turbozoids! And be sure to hang on to your hats. Your grandma needs her suitcase. Who knew Joe can fly? <gasps> Wait a minute, I can fly! To the grandma I go! Hmm? Maybe you should have forgotten to have breakfast yesterday as well. <laughs> Phew. Do you have to drive so fast? You have to keep up, Jerry. We can't be late. Maybe your grandma can do without her case. Jerry, if you're tired, just write on the roof. Eh? Eh? <sighs> what on earth are you waiting for? Step on it, Joe. Grandma needs her suitcase. Hold on tight, because the road might get a little bumpy from here. 
I'm not worried. How bumpy can it be? You're about to find out. <laughs> Jerry, you can open your eyes now. We've stopped moving. But we can't stop moving. We're already running late. I think we just might make it if we can get up over the mountain. That's a waste of time. Why not just go through the tunnel? We can't go in the tunnel. The sign says so. Imagine being scared of a tunnel. Well, I'm going in myself. <gasps> I told you there was nothing to worry about. Hey, what's that light up ahead? Huh? It's the train. The train! The train! Yeah, I think we should go up the hill. Huh? <laughs> Peter? Katie? My suitcase! How on earth did you get here so quickly? A special driverless taxi. Huh? It's huh? very fast. Without it, we never would have made it. Thank you for the suitcase, kids. So what would I ever do without you? Mm -hmm. Bye-bye! And now it's time to go home. But please, can we drive home the long way? <laughs> <laughs> could have eaten two of them, easily. I could eat three. No, no way you could eat three pineapples. I could, with enough time. A week, maybe. Too bad there was only one. It was delicious. Huh? What? Delicious? What now? Pineapple. Our grandma bought one. It's a vegetable or a fruit. Pineapples, mm. a fruit indigenous to South America, grown in warm climates. Some of us like to read. I want to try a pineapple. Ooh, me too. Yeah, we'd like to try. Sorry, there's none left. Where'd it go? We ate it. A tragedy! None for the hungry dinos! I have an idea! We couldn't eat the tip of the pineapple. Maybe if we bury it, we can grow another pineapple plant. Just grow one? Genius! Let's plant one right now! But we can't grow one here. It's not the right climate. <sighs> we'll make the right climate. Huh? It needs heat and lots of water. Wait, we'll build a greenhouse. Huh? Huh? This is the greenhouse of King Leopold II. We'll make that. That's pretty sizable. So what? Mm -hmm. We've got dinosaurs mm -hmm. to help. What about these statues? Oh, Chuck can do that part. He'll make <laughs> a beautiful statue. <laughs> <laughs> Stop fooling around. We don't need statues. <gasps> We'll make this old style, but with modern materials. We'll need metal pipes and some glass and... Where do we get it all? There's a construction site. They finished building a really big place. And I just know there's some debris left over. That's right. Grandma was complaining. She said they'd never clean up their mess. We'll clean it up and make a greenhouse. Yeah. Uh -huh. Go, go, Turbozors! Quite interesting. Interesting indeed. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Chuck, the frame. Uh. Thor, dig up the ground to prepare the trench. We'll need water to fill the pipes, and those will go into the greenhouse. Go, go, Turbozors! Atta boys, Unky and Bull! Looking good, Chuck! 
Jack. And me. I want to do something useful, too. You can be in management. Great. Put it there. Can you give us a better view? Ha. Chuck, huh? let's stick those arches in the ground. Thor, connect the trench to the pond. Gotta keep those pineapple plants human. It looks amazing! Hooray! We did it! Great job, everyone! And the pineapple? When can we grow it? We'll plant it today! <laughs> Do you think we could eat the pineapple tomorrow? Yeah? No, Jerry. It takes a while. But I'm ready to try it now. I'll wait here until it's ready. I can wait all day. I hear someone coming. Hide! Hmm. Hmm? What's this? How long has this greenhouse been here? Don't know, Mr. Charlie. We just came here and it was already built. But it's empty. You found it? It's a good greenhouse. Hey, someone's growing pineapples in here. I'll bring some tomato seeds. There's lots of space. See you soon. Huh? <laughs> it's my lucky day. We'll get to eat tomatoes and pineapples. But I have no idea what a tomato tastes like. Are you still coming? I understand. I'll keep waiting. They still can't send me a taxi. The big storm took down a lot of trees, so the roads are all blocked. But I need to be in town and just... <gasps> Florian? Florian! Oh. Katie, Grandma can't be late. We need the Turbozor's help. That storm was just unbelievable. Wind, thunder, lightning, then boom! One tree fell after another. Yeah, now the roads are blocked. Grandma can't get into town. I'll check out the roads. You two go and tell the team. <sighs> Nine trees are blocking the road. One of them's gigantic, and there's a really deep puddle. The river flooded and broke the bridge, so we'll have to fix it. That's a lot of work. We'll need Thor and Chuck. They're still asleep. The sound of rain always makes them tired. We'll have to wake them. Thor! Chuck! <laughs> if that thunder didn't wake them up, then you won't. Then what do we do? We need their help to clear the road. I've got it covered. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> now that everybody is here, let's go save the day. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Like our friends are still asleep. Huh. Sleepwalking is a dangerous sport. You might want to give it up. No, I wasn't sleepwalking. I was deep in thought. Don't sweat it, Chuck. We're just glad you're here to help. Yum. Oh. Thor. Thor. Enough. There's no time for that. Home, home, home. 
How much time do we have left? Not very much. Her appointment starts soon. Bull, can we go faster? Of course. Turbozors, we've got a job to do. Thor, we need you to saw the trunk. Chuck, can you clear the way? Unky, Joe, we'll go and fix the bridge. We should go get Grandma. Joe, think you could give us a lift? I'll be the fastest and most stylish taxi that she's ever seen. <laughs> It'll take more than that to stop me. You can relax. We'll have the roads clear soon. <laughs> Grandma, do you want to take this driverless taxi? That would be great. But can I drive it myself? This one's special, so yeah. Chuck, replace the damaged support for the bridge. Them? Chuck, hide! <laughs> really great work, guys! The bridge looks good as new! Thanks! It'll stand a hundred years! gonna find it in the middle of the forest. Why don't I make a scan of it for you? That way we can find the owner by their prints. <laughs> Scanning underway. And the analysis shows not a single fingerprint to be found. And the estimate age of the coin is 300 years old. Hooray! We found an ancient coin. Why don't we look for more? Suddenly there are treasures abounding. Hidden treasures. So much for finding any real treasure. I disagree. All these items are very old and therefore valuable. Once upon a time, there was an ancient village. And there may be a treasure? It could be. But we should consult a specialist about this. And I happen to be friends with some archaeologists. I can give them a call and see if they'll arrange an excavation. Is it impossible to dig without them? This must be handled very carefully to make sure that we don't damage the antiquities. I'm sure archaeologists have already been there. But we don't know what's still there. Let's go, Katie. Go where? Where do you think? To dig very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna score. Is he gonna score? Bravo! Hey guys! Huh? We need your help immediately. It's time for a big dig. But what about the ball? We'll find it later, Chuck. But we can't forget to hide the base. Huh? I 
I don't see anything. Joe, will you please go stand over there? Uh-huh. Some lights? Better, but still a little too dark. Unky? That does it. Here's the plan. <gasps> Thor, you take off the top layer. Then Bull will clear mm. away the earth. And Jerry can take a detailed photo. And me? And you, Chuck, have the most important job of all. But I have no artistic talent. This is to thoroughly remove all the dust. We must all work very carefully so that we don't damage anything. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Go, go, Turbosaurs! Our time? Not at all, Jerry. Just take a look. Books contain valuable information about our past. We should bring this book back to Grandma and she can show it to her archaeologist friends. <laughs> so, Grandma, tell us what the book said. Don't worry, I'll tell you. But first, you have to finish your casserole. <laughs> It's the best one you've ever made us. Why haven't you ever made this delicious food for us before? Because before, I didn't have the recipe to make it. And what is the recipe? Oh, this is a very old recipe. Our great, great, great grandmothers and grandfathers ate a casserole just like this. And where did you get it from? I got it from a very, very, very ancient book of recipes. So that's what it was, a cookbook. I told you, a real treasure indeed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Ready? Here I come. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Thor, <laughs> Bull, <laughs> Unky, Jerry, Joe, <laughs> Chuck, and Katie. Nice try hiding from me, but I found you. And where is the little one hiding? Florian, where are you? That's one strange looking tree. Children, why are you all the way out here? Why? To play hide uh -huh. and seek. Strange, awfully strange. <laughs> Whose turn is it to be it? I'm going to launch a drone. And that way I can get to the bottom of these mysterious events in our forest. Now, uh, which of these buttons do I push? <laughs> oh. uh. Wait, what? <gasps> there you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. So strange. Where is Jerry gone? Oh, he's not gone. He's just stuck. 
We've got to find a way to help him. Hold on, Jerry. We're going to get you down from there. So maybe I just have to change out the battery? Or huh? fix a spring? Or huh? tighten a gear? Or maybe it's all of the above. the trajectory. Uh, uh, uh. Forgive me. I think I have a better idea to free Jerry. Now, if you'll step aside, please. Something in my head is spinning. May I please sit down? This way, if anybody else falls, it won't be so hard. I think I know why nothing has worked for us so far. Because we haven't had any breakfast? Hmm? Because we've only been working alone to save him, not together. And that gives me an idea. Go, go, Turbosaurs! <laughs> in here, but first move the flowers over there. Chuck, bring that over there. And keep it coming, Thor. Thor, clear the space. Dig even deeper, Thor. Unky, we need your help with the cable. We're all set. Let's go, Joe. Not Jerry, and the trees seem to be so much shorter. <laughs> hey, I've caught the fugitive. <laughs> what are you doing, playing hide and seek uh -huh. again? Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Jerry! You won't believe the story of what happened to me. I'm minding my own business, taking. did wasn't me my ball didn't hit those flowers look they're footprints must have been some animal here who crushed them with his feet <gasps> hello we didn't know you had a cat <clears throat> he's not mine he lives on his own so if he's done anything wrong, it's not my fault. What's his name? How should I know? I call him Kitty, or Snow Leopard. Kids, it's time to eat now. I'm all done. Everything tasted great. Grandma, can we help you wash the dishes? Oh, no thank you. We'll wait for hot water to come back. Go have fun. Kitty! Here, kitty. What happened? The cat is gone. Maybe he moved on. 
I kind of liked having him around. Uh, poor thing's probably far away by now. I don't think we'll ever find him. Kitty! Don't give up hope so soon. See? Look here. Aren't those his tracks? We can follow them. I know who can help us. <laughs> and now he's lost. Sounds like a pickle. We'll go find that cat. Jerry? One step ahead of you, Bull. <laughs> Target spotted nearby. Follow me. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty. <laughs> Looks like he doesn't trust us. Go, go, Turbozors! Chuck, can you reach up there? He's scared. What do we do now? I have an idea. What if we make a ladder? Watch. Thor, make a base for the stairs. Joe, we'll need lots of timber for this. Hunky, go help. Chuck, you can split the logs for the ladder rungs. Wait, safety first! Hey, look! Lucky I have this rope! Jerry, fix the rope! <laughs> What? What's that? Oh, I think I know. It's new pipes for the water system. That's why Grandma had no hot water. Oh no! Huh? Come back! Kitty? Kitty! Well, don't just stand there, Peter. Call the dinosaurs! As luck would have it, we need your help again. I see. Kitty's at it again. We'll need to be careful with this one, team. Chuck, you look into every pipe. If there's no cat, we'll need to put it very carefully into the trench. Unky, help us put the pipes in the ground. Thor? Dig away! What should we do? You guys have the most important job, making sure the cat doesn't run away once we find it. kids. What a naughty boy running away. Home is where the heart is. Right, Cat? Of course. This can be your home now. <laughs> Help! He's been taken. He's gone. Kidnapped. Now hold on. Just start over. Why are you panicking? And who's taken? Thor. They took him to the city. Here's how it went down. This trail makes me kind of nervous. The highway's right there. What if someone sees us? Huh? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. My name's Thor, and this here's Unky. What brings you to these parts? He's not a real dino. Probably made of plaster and wood. Huh? Hmm? Ah. Uh. Uh-huh. 
it's over here, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Ah, uh, there. He didn't hear the humans in time, so he didn't manage to turn into a car. He just froze in place, and they thought he was the fake dinosaur they made. I still don't understand. How did that lead him to getting taken? When they mistook him for the fake dinosaur we saw earlier, they took him to the city instead. Apparently, they're building a dinosaur theme park downtown, and one of the statues fell out of the truck. They think mm -hmm. Thor is that statue. He's all alone, and he could be in danger. <gasps> Well, guess we don't have a choice. We'll have to bail him out. Huh? <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> we'll go in and check things out, and you guys can wait for us in the park. They've been gone a while. <laughs> you know, real dinosaurs didn't look anything like this model. Right? It's all wrong. Huh? Over there! <laughs> ah, you guys made it to the park opening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so boring. None of these dinosaurs look real. They should be scary. Look at this one. Hmm. Or these. Huh? Huh? Boring. <laughs> Just people in costumes. Let's bounce, Bruno. <laughs> ah, you're here. I don't know how much longer I can last. It's been two hours since I ate. Can you step off the rock? I can't. They put me in cement. <laughs> don't worry. Nothing's impossible. I've got a plan. So here's Thor, and here's us. Unky, can you pick up Chuck and truck for him and lift him up and over? That way he can dislodge Thor. Should be able to. Then it's settled. Tonight, Thor will get swapped out with the fake dinosaur from the forest. Which is where, exactly? We need it here. I remember where we found it. I'll take you there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. Uh, Unky, did you forget where it is? I did not. I'm just having trouble remembering. Quiet! Mm -hmm. Someone's over there. Hmm. I found something very suspicious. Come with me, children. I found proof dinosaurs live here. I present a specimen. Uh, that's not a real dinosaur. That's a statue, uh. Mr. Charlie. Huh? I guess. Oh, well, I only thought... Uh... <laughs> 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 huh? Bull, make hmm? sure the ground stays hmm? level for Unky. Then Unky brings over Chuck. Then he'll get Thor's feet unstuck. We'll need to get it done quickly and quietly. So Unky brings the fake over the fence. Then we put the fake on the cement, and everyone gets back over safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Go, go, Turbozords! Great idea for a park. Maybe I'll come back sometime. Well, have fun with that. I've had quite enough of this place for a lifetime. <laughs> Thanks for the jailbreak. Let's not do this again. <laughs> He 
sends the ball to Chuck. Chuck shoots. And the goalie sends it off the field. Guess that's the end of the match. Uh, too bad. That was our best game yet. Let's go look for the ball. We'll find it and keep playing. Huh? for the ball. Wait a sec. What if... <gasps> what if it rains? The river will flood and they'll be washed away. Oh, We have to do something. We should go ask Katie. She's an expert on nature. Wait here. I'll go get her. <laughs> There's this hedgehog family with babies. Their home is in danger. That's horrible. Can you show us where to find them? flood and wash away their nest. <sighs> I got it. Let's move their nest away from the river. Their home is here. We can't just move them. I have an idea. Since we can't move their nest, we'll move the river instead. How would we do that? Easy. We can just build a dam and reroute the river. Go, go, turbo! Dig a channel right here. Chuck, go collect Dad's trees from the forest. We'll be needing them for the dam. Chuck. To you, the hedgehog nest is safe. Now we can work on finding the ball. So how did you lose it? A giant kick. Without it, we can't finish our game. I think I can help with that. Friendship's powerful. Uh -huh. 
She's never gonna get it. Nope, I knew she'd get it. He's never gonna get it. But that's not fair! No flying allowed! Heads up! <laughs> Take your own advice. Look! Uh, what is that? A dandelion? Is that supposed to be an apple? This is not an apple. I saw it through my telescope and I took a picture of it. Do you think that's a... Uh... An enormous meteorite. I'm sure of it. And it's headed straight for Grandma's garden. And how do you know that? It looks like an apple. It's the shape of an apple and the size of an apple. So... So what? And where does Grandma grow the apples? In the garden. And that's where the meteor's heading. Today. <gasps> oh, but that's where Grandma keeps her prized pumpkin. And a meteorite could... Oh, Grandma will be devastated if that happens. I say we won't let it. Where are we heading? To the rescue as fast as we can. Uh, does anyone actually have a plan? Well, of course I do! To bring down a meteorite, you need a slingshot! <laughs> no, not a great plan. Or perhaps we could lure the meteorite into a trap! The meteorite? It's just a rock. How do you plan to lure it? With cheese? Hmm. What if we could build the world's strongest and biggest fan? And blow the meteorite straight into... That gives me an idea! Come on, let's go! I've got it! We need a racket! An enormous badminton racket! And then we'll catch the meteorite! Exactly! Look, here are the strings of our racket. We will stretch them across the entire garden, and then when the meteorite arrives, kapow! <laughs> and now to create our racket. To the lake! Go, go, Turbozoid! So, we're quickly digging up everything in the garden and moving it over here. And the meteorite will never know the difference. A brilliant idea. Hmm. What are you doing? Grandma will be back from the store any minute, and you've made a mess out of everything! Uh, well, it only appears to be a mess at first glance, but if you look a little bit closer... Put everything back where it was. Otherwise, my grandma will be very upset. Now that is more like it. Let's hurry. We need to stretch out the racket. We must carry out Peter's plan because the meteorite could fly in any minute now. Go right, and then to the left. We're just about ready. Go check for the meteorite. <laughs> Not so fast, Peter. You need to clean the lens. Look, you have a dandelion feather in your way. Oh, the meteorite is gone. It seems the only thing I saw was a feather. <laughs> a meteorite's not coming for the garden? 
Oops. He's going to fall down. How can we catch him? Uh-huh. <gasps> Here, turn it for me. <laughs> to the right. To the left. Towards me. Towards me. Stop. Right there. Ha, 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 ha.